Hi, I'm Scott with Starkey Family Fixing Rigging Up. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Now today we're going to be doing another tool video and I'm going to show you what I've actually purchased. But I want to give everybody that's watching this video now an idea of what I'm actually doing just in case you haven't caught my prior video. Well, a lot of my tools are Craftman tools, which are fine. But I had some problems returning some broken tools. And since there is no longer a sear store in my area, I'm no longer able to, you know, return those tools. I had tried going to Lowe's and Napa and these people are carrying the Craftman tools, but your warranties are pretty much gone. Um, I was told that the only way that you could return a tool that is a Craftman tool is you have to have the receipt and you have to take it back to the same store that you purchased it from. So what that means is if you go to Menards and you buy Craftman tools and five years from now it breaks, if you don't have a receipt, your warranty is now void. That is what they told me. Okay, the tools that you bought years ago at, let's just say, a Sears store. Those tools, if you do not have a Sears store around you, if you decide to go to Menards or Lowe's or whoever's carrying that uh, Craftman tool, your warranty is absolutely useless. Okay, so anyways, I've decided that most of my tools are getting old, they're getting pretty rough, so I'm actually going to be replacing them. So that's what I've actually been doing. And also, as I've been replacing these, two of my kids um, are at the age now where I need to prepare them for their futures. So every week, we're going out to the Napa store. And we are purchasing one tool okay that is a minimum one tool so what's happening is a tool that I pick out for myself I'm picking them out the same identical thing so keep in mind in this video every tool that I'm showing you that I purchase I'm buying three of them not just one now keep in mind also in this video I'm going to show you tools that I picked up at Harbor Freight and then I'm going to show you some tools that I did pick up at Menards and then I'm going to show you tools I picked up at Napa. But I've decided that I'm going to turn this into a family ordeal. So every week we're going to go out and pick up tools. I'm planning on doing these videos every few weeks, maybe every month, just because, you know, we are picking up one tool at a time. But keep in mind, these tools that I'm picking up, if one tool costs $15, I'm now spending 45. So, you may not think that it's very much, but it does add up. So, the kids are pretty hyped about getting up on Saturday morning. I love it. <laughs> They get up early Saturday morning, we take a trip down to Napa, we pick out the tool that we want, and if they have it, we get it then. If they don't have it, then they order it, and then the following Saturday that we show up, guess what? We get to pick up that tool, and possibly another one, or we just reorder another tool. Now, uh, also I wanted to show you that, uh, and I'm gonna show you in this video that, uh, a lot of these tools that I'm getting, the tools I'm getting from Napa especially, are all on sale. So I'm getting all these tools at a great price. So let's get this video rolling. Okay, so first off, let's start off with Napa. I just want to remind everybody that this, the third quarter sale for 2021 is still going on until September 30th. So if you want some great tools, 
this right here is the place to actually go and get them. Now these are the wrenches I bought for the last video. They got all kinds of stuff on here discounted. So make sure if you're looking for some tools right now, this is where you want to go. They're having big savings. Okay, so let's go ahead with the first tool. Okay, this is a 16 ounce hammer. Beautiful. Now, I know a lot of you guys like to have the fiberglass handles. Myself, on the smaller handles, I prefer to have the wood grain, the hickory. I just think that these things look beautiful. That's why I get them. Okay, so, again, if you would like to have the fiberglass, the fiberglass is on sale. This one here is on sale. I actually picked this one here up for $13.99. I think it's a pretty good deal. Now keep in mind, all these tools, I'm not buying one, I'm buying three. So that's for me and for my kids. So I bought three of these hammers. Okay, the next deal I came across is a 10 inch pipe wrench. And you're like, well, a pipe wrench, really? That's right. You'd be surprised how many times I've actually used pipe wrenches. So, I'm the reason why I'm going ahead and replacing my pipe wrenches, because this is a tool that a lot of times you may not use, because I want everything fresh. That's why. So, I bought three of these. And each one of these, they were on sale also. And they were $11.99 a piece. Here's the tag number on it. So if you wanted to look that number up. Okay. The next one that I got down there. Was an adjustable wrench. This thing here is extremely nice it's an eight inch it's got your measurements out on it this thing is so smooth to actually move now i'm going to tell you what a lot of times these little teeth here will wear into your fingers not here this thing here is extremely lightweight it's a beautiful looking tool also carlisle Okay, I think that's an excellent deal. Sixteen forty nine for this thing. That's that's great. And there again, it was on sale. Now, this one here is not one of the normals, but what I will say is, this is an excellent pickup tool. This right here, I got for two dollars. And, of course, I got my kids' pickup tools, and they just expand out. They are extremely nice. So if I drop one of these, I can pick it up. If I drop one of these, I can pick it up. If I drop one of these, I can pick it up. <laughs> so for two dollars i think this is a well-deserved tool you, you know sometimes you're working around on engines and whatnot or you just drop stuff on the ground and there you are crawling underneath your vehicle to pick it up oh no you expand this thing out snag it bring it right back to you now the next thing i got a really good deal on this is probably one of the better ones. $18.99. Okay. So what this actually is. This is a pistol grip grease gun. This right here. I'm going to tell you what. I've already taken it down. I've already used it. Matter of fact, let me grab it here. 
Now you'll see where I've had it out on the gravel or some scratches on it and stuff. This thing here, when you squeeze this trigger, I'm going to tell you what. There's quite a bit of grease that actually comes out. And it is actually very high pressured for this. I actually figured it was more than this. But this is actually giving out 7,000 pounds of pressure. You can't, you can't ask for much more than that. So if you need a grease gun, forget the other stores. This is what you want. $18.99. You can't really beat this. Now the next thing, I also opened this up too. And if you see some of the moisture, keep in mind, I'm doing a nighttime video. And, uh, well, it's pretty late tonight. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning, so I've got dew running out from the air. Now this right here, I had a wiring job that I had to do on my semi. So what's handy is about this. You pull the wires out 30 feet. So when you're testing stuff, you just can't clamp your positive to your positive or your negative on both ends makes things very simple extremely simple then on here on the back of it you grab it just a little wind up this thing is absolutely great if you do not have one of these for your garage you absolutely need to get one absolutely this right here cost me let me see here I'm looking. I think I forgot to write it down, actually. Well, let me look on the receipt here. I got my receipts here. I think I forgot to write that one down. Okay. Wire test lead. I paid $33.49 for that. I know it seems like it might be a little bit high, but when you price the price of it that you would pay for wiring, then you have everything condensed, and then you've got the alligator clips on there. This is an absolute no-brainer. You absolutely need this for your garage. So I'm going to tell you, if you're watching this, you need to go out and buy this. Okay, so we've got the Napa tools out. So let's go ahead and do the tools that we picked up over at Menards. Okay, so the next thing here I have. I know this really isn't considered tools, but this is actually a pretty good deal. For one, they're tangle-free cords. They're flat. Two, they're nine feet long. Three, they glow in the dark, which is always a bonus. You can always find them. Now, if your phone or other object that you have, like my GoPro, for example, uses a Type-C cable, you're going to want these cords to actually charge with. Okay? Now, they have other ones. They had iPhone cords and whatnot. But the reason why I'm actually showing you these is these were $3 a pack. So if you have kids that have cell phones, like a lot of us, I, me too, your kids will go through and destroy your phone cords. And phone cords are very expensive. $3 a pack. And these are 9 feet. So make sure if you go to Menards, you grab some. Okay, the next one is a crowbar. This right here is an 18 inch. It's a Master Force brand. Now, I told you most of the tools I'm going to be buying are Napa. Something like this really does not matter what brand it is, it matters about the price. They're all going to be strong. You're going to use these for weird jobs. For example, 
this is something that I would use on an alternator for like a car. You would actually take the pry bar, put it in between the, art, the alternator and, you know, something that, where the alternator is located at, like one of the brackets or whatever, and you would pull the alternator tight to tightening up the belt. That's what you would use something like this for. Or you could use it for nails, you could use it for all kinds of stuff. You could use the demo part of your house if you wanted to. So, it's all on what you want. But this right here is an 18 inch gooseneck. And I paid $6.49 for that. That's cheap. Okay, so the next one is I bought a two inch clamp. And this is by Irwin. So you know it's a good brand. Now, why would I buy one of these? This is a tool for one. You would be surprised how handy these are. I do welding. Well, if you do welding, you want to have things secured. Sometimes when you're trying to bolt uh, things together, you need to tighten the braces up first so you can actually put everything together. There's all kinds of reasons to actually buy these. But if you do not have these in your garage, you absolutely need to buy one of these and i only paid two dollars and 89 cents for this so make sure you put it in your toolbox okay the last thing that i bought at menards i saw it and it was actually an excellent deal is another pickup tool now what makes this one here different is now you saw this one here, which is a magnetic pickup tool, okay? Well, what if you have a tool that's made out of aluminum or stainless steel or plastic or something where you cannot use this? Well, now you can. You have a claw that comes out and grabs. So just to give you an example... You drop your tool, you pick it up. You drop your tool, you pick it up. Just that simple. So if you don't have one of these in your garage, you absolutely want to get this. Now this one here is a 24 inch. Right here. You can get them different lengths, but I wanted the 24 inch. It was $1.86. So you cannot beat that. Absolutely cannot beat that. $1.86 for a pickup tool. So if you run into Menards, grab you one. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, go to the Harbor Freight tools now. Okay, so the first tool that I'm going to show you. I bought this for $9.99. Okay. Okay. So, what this is, is a six-piece impact screwdriver set. Now, most generally you'd say, well, that is a very good deal, because the last impact screwdriver set I bought was around $40, okay? Now, this right here, I'm going to take this out and show it to you, because this is the one I'm going to tell you don't buy this this is crap this tool was absolute junk okay so basically what you do is put your adapter on and it's like this right here you put your phillips head on so the idea is you have a <laughs> this magnet i'm telling you it's a good magnet pickup tool this right here the whole idea is is let's say you have a screw that is overly tight and you can't bust it free what you do is you apply pressure to this and you will take a hammer and hit this very very hard now i didn't use this hammer i used a four pound sledgehammer okay 
this right here kept on getting all jammed up and i had to dig it out now keep in mind this is a brand new item here and i bought this just to get a couple screws out in my semi this could not handle this absolutely is junk this whole mechanism i tried putting a little bit of oil on here didn't work this whole mechanism here is absolute trash so i am going to you can do whatever you want if you really are insisting on buying it go ahead i'm going to tell you i would not waste my time with this piece of crap this is actually on the list to go back to the store so they can take it and throw it in their trash bin so the price is right unfortunately the tool is not this is total total crap and what's sad is about it this isn't rocket science i mean they've had these things out for years and years this has a lifetime warranty well it can take the first screw out i ended up having to take a uh, grinder grinding off the head and then i ended up drilling it out so anyways this is total crap now i told you i purchased another one beforehand that thing is almost let me think here geez i honestly do not know i'm guessing somewhere around 30 years old i was a teenager when i picked it up it worked fine the only reason why i bought this was i misplaced my other one i, I still can't find it so that's why i picked this up do not buy this i'm gonna actually get a good one and when i do it's gonna be from napa so i'm gonna put this out of the way here now let's go ahead and talk about some items that uh, i got at harbor freight that are not trash that seem to be pretty decent items okay so the first thing is i needed a new tape measure and my kids do not have tape measures so i want to make sure they had tape measures so i went ahead and got one this is a 25 feet long one inch just a plastic tape measure nothing really special about it other than it was a dollar 99 now i know people are going to say well why don't you buy a good tape measure well a good tape measure can be anything that you want i've had tape measures in the past that have cost up to 30 40 dollars and guess what they break just as easy as these ones here you drop them from a high distance they explode this right here is what i call a disposable tool now i know i'm gonna probably hear some trash about this and i'm not saying that every tool from harbor freight is trash because it's not but harbor freight is really good about having what i call disposable tools to me this is the tape measure cost a dollar 99 this is a disposable tool if it breaks no hard feelings if i paid 30 dollars for a tape measure and it breaks i'm upset now i was gonna also tell you i bought this right here it's already got the fractions broke down on you so when you're measuring it makes things a little bit easier and i thought you know my kit let me zoom in on this a little bit here can you see that if you have children that are new to tape measures and are not used to measuring everything out this is the kind of tape measure that you actually want to buy them one it's cheap so if they break it no big deal but with all the fractions broke down on there it takes a lot of the guesswork out you know this will break them in for later on if they end up buying another tape measure that does not have the fractions on it they're so used to this they can read it so for me i'm going to tell you if you don't have a decent tape measure this right here is great absolutely great 
This is a plastic housing, so if you do drop it from a high distance, it is going to shatter. But if you're at a high distance, this is how you keep from dropping it. Oh no. And guess what? There you go. Okay, so the next item that we're going to actually show is this is something that everybody needs in their garage. This, it doesn't matter what size, I just wanted a small one because I have some larger ones. This right here is a magnetic parts holder. So basically what happens is, um, I've got a job coming up here soon that I need to do that I'm going to be taking a lawnmower carburetor apart, okay? So when I go to take that apart, I can put the screws inside of here. And guess what? This is completely magnetic. So if I bump this, they're not going to jar around. I'm not going to lose them. But guess what? This one here actually has a nice little bonus. So if you're in your garage, for example, and you know you don't end up losing this, the back is magnetic also. What do you think about that? Or if you're in an area where, well... There is nothing flat. You can take this and pin it up against a metal wall and still put your screws in there. This will stick on the wall and your screws will stick inside here. What do you think about that? Now, this is actually extremely good price. Extremely good price. This one here was $2.99. This is what I call another good tool. Okay, so the next one we're going to do. Now, I do have some of these that are a little bit different. But it's always nice to have a, uh, a lamp that you can actually wear on your head. So when you're crawling underneath, you see me in my videos where I crawl underneath my semi all the time. I do this and that. I do all kinds of work. I do work on cars. I work on... ATVs, I work, I work on everything. When they break down, if it's dark, it could be daylight, it could be like right now, it could be nighttime. Doesn't matter. This right here is very bright and very cheap. This right here cost me $2.49. Now, another good thing is, now my youngest son that I'm actually, you know, buying tools for him too. This is actually good because his his bedroom is in the basement, okay? In our bathroom, I'm remodeling the one down in the basement right now. So the one upstairs that he's using, if he gets up in the middle of the night, he's already put his on, turned it on, and wore his upstairs. He can see it in the dark house. Isn't that great? These are excellent for kids, but they're actually excellent for adults also. You might say 50 illuminations, that's not really bright. I'm going to tell you what, these things are burning the, your eyeballs out of your head. These are so bright. So if you don't have one, I would suggest you need this for your garage. If anything, buy one, put it in your car, put it in your semi truck, put it in your vehicle, put it in your ATV. You out in the woods in an ATV, you break down, you have light. You in your car and you break down, you have light. Just keep that in mind. Okay, the next one that I'm going to show you about is, it's not so much a tool, really, but it is something that I wanted to show you that was a great deal. Now, I'm not exaggerating about the price tag of these, okay? This is heat shrink. Basically, what you're going to do is, if you're doing any type of wiring jobs on, like, your automobile or something, this right here is a 516, so it's a, it's a pretty decent size. Um, let me see if I can show you this here a little bit. Okay, so basically, this right here pops open. Let me bring this up to the camera a little bit. This pops open, and what happens is, you will cut this to size. So, let's say you find a wire that is actually 
I don't know, broken on a vehicle. Well, you're just simply going to cut it, put a connector connecting it, and that's that, right? Wrong. The proper way is to cut this to size. If you, you're using your connectors to connect new wires, well, what happens is you put this over top of the, the issue that you actually have. This is like a Band-Aid. You overlap it at least a good inch over top your connect your connector. Like your connector would be here in the middle. Take a pair of scissors, cut it. You slide your wires and everything inside, and then you just take a lighter or heat gun or something really hot. This shrinks right on top of the wire, and this makes a watertight seal if you do it properly. And that way. You don't have moisture going to your connectors, turning them green and rotting them out. Now, this right here, I wanted to tell you, I have seen these as high as $15 a roll. Okay? But if you need them, you need them. These right here, over at Harbor Freight, were $2.49 a roll, and these are 8 feet rolls. This is an excellent deal. So if you do any mechanical work, you need them. And you can get whatever color you want. This is what I picked up. I just got a darker one. They got all kinds of colors. Excellent. Okay, so the next item we have here is a light switch. Now, you may say, well, light switches don't really cost that much. Oh, what's this stuff on the light switch? Well, this isn't an ordinary light switch. You take this paper off, and see this? That's Velcro. And this does take batteries. So you just put batteries in here when they run dead. What these are actually good for is if you have a closet that does not have lighting built into it. Let's say you have a kid's room, for example. You can stick this on the wall. They can flip it. They have plain light. You can have these in other closets around the house. You can have them in a pantry. You can put these in a kitchen. Okay? So, there's different reasons why you'd actually have one of these, but you could put one of these in your car, or you could put one in your garage, in your toolbox, wherever. This right here is extremely cheap. It is extremely bright. This right here will burn the eyes out of your head if you stare at it long enough. The good thing is, this is only $2.39. This actually, little kids love stuff like this also. So, I know this is going to sound stupid, but if you have a little kid, you get them one of this. They may play with this more around Christmas time than they do their normal toys that you would buy them. Look how bright that thing is. I'm going to tell you what. That will burn the eyes out of your head. Wow. And that is LED. So, a reason I can see to actually have this thing is, let's say you broke down on the side of the road. We don't want someone to run over you if you have to do some walking. This will shine your way if you need it. This will shine it. You can shine it, turn this on if a car's coming. They will see you. So, I would advise, if you don't have one, this is one of these little gadgets that I would actually call a good tool. This is something you need to put in your toolbox. Okay, so the next tool, actually a package of tools, how about that, that I bought. This is probably one of the better deals that I got. Now you see all these screwdrivers? This is actually a 12-piece set. Now, I can tell you right now, these are a very low-grade screwdriver. But what I can tell you is, these handles are extremely, extremely comfortable. I have been purchasing these packs. I'd say I, this would probably be the 
maybe the third, fourth pack that I've purchased in about 10 years. Okay. Now, there are some of these that I still have that are in great shape that I haven't even used. But there's other ones that I use all the time. If you're going to be working on anything automotive long term, you do not want to ruin your good tools in situations where you know there's a chance that your screwdriver is going to get tore up. Okay? Now, you may say, well, I don't treat my tools like that. I don't care who you are. At some point in time, you're going to use a flat-handled screwdriver as a scraper. You're going to use this flat-handed handled screwdriver for something other than what it was intended to. You may use it to stab something. I don't know. The point is, you have your good screwdrivers that you pay top dollar on that you need to depend on those. And then you have what I call your disposable tools. This is a whole set of disposable tools I would highly recommend you getting. Now they work great. Don't get me wrong. They do work great. But it's not exactly extremely strong metal. So these tools will wear out. The Phillips heads on these actually work pretty good. But it's not a good grade metal. But, like I said, this is a disposable tool. You can use these on any situation you want. Now, right now, I caught this package on sale. And I paid $4.99 for 12 screwdrivers. With, I'm going to tell you what, these handles, for me anyways, these are, I have good screwdrivers. But these are actually more comfortable than my good screwdrivers. So I would highly recommend if you're going to buy some screwdrivers that you're going to, that you're going to want to have for disposables. This is exactly what you want. Now, another thing is if you work around other people or you have a neighbor or you have friends or whatever the case is that will not stop borrowing your tools and sometimes they don't give them back this is what you buy disposable if they bring it back good if they don't well there you go you don't have a set of screwdrivers that's 50 60 dollars or more that uh, you're losing because your friends won't bring them back your relatives won't bring them back or whoever disposable tools if you don't do it, you need to do it. Okay, next tool. Okay, so this one here, I only bought one of these. Just because my kids are a little bit young to be using the grinders. And I didn't want them to get hurt yet. So, I only bought one. But I will tell you, I got such a good deal on this. That I wish I would have actually bought a couple more of these. Now, I'll go ahead and unwrap this and show you what it is. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of you out there that are going to say, well, it's a low grade grinder. This is junk. It's going to fail. And you're probably right. But for the price that I paid for this, this is excellent. This is absolutely excellent. You cannot beat this. You know, I do have higher grade grinders. I've had, for example, I like the Metabo brand. But I had an older one that, an older grinder that I bought at Harbor Freight probably 15 years ago. Okay. I paid around $12, $13 for it. It actually outlasted the Metabo grinder that I had actually bought around the same time period. And that's no exaggeration at all. So this one here actually cost me $12.97. Okay? 
So, has a handle you put on there. So, if you're left-handed, you're right-handed, or if you're like me, you're not real exactly left or right-handed. You can do anything with both hands. So, this is actually great. You cannot beat this. Now, can it fail on me? Yes, it, but anything can. But what I will tell you is, do you see this grinder here? Now, keep in mind, I was a welder. This right here, you still see me using this in my videos. This right here, I'm going to bring this up. Maybe you can see this. Made in China, which we already figured. Two of 04. This thing still lives. I have used this for about absolutely everything you can think of. And yes, I have abused this thing. So, I actually use these ones here. I don't really even use the good ones because they hold up so good. You say, well, if they hold up so good, why did you buy one? Because it's a great deal. I don't know when that thing's going to fail. It could catch on fire. N my next video. Who knows? This right here is going to stay in the box until I need it. And when I need it, I got it. Or, if I've got a job that I know I'm going to have need to abuse something new, guess what? Here it is. And there again, if you have neighbors, family members, whatever, they know you have this stuff. But guess what? You don't have to give them your good tools, do you? Because you know if you give them your good tools, they'll come back trash. So, let's go ahead and put this back up. But I just want to keep you in mind. Go over to Harbor Freight. If you don't have this, go ahead and get this. There are some good deals. You just have to look at them. Okay? But keep in mind, this is not a $200 grinder. Okay? This is like 13 bucks. Be happy. If it burns up, don't be sad. It's a great deal. I'm Scott with Starkey Family, Fixing and Rigging Up. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps my channel out quite a bit. Now, without all you people, I want you to know... I wouldn't be able to do this. I love the comments that you guys send to me. I love answering the questions. I love being able to help everybody out. And I want to continue to do this. So I need all you people watching. Hit the subscribe button. Please. Hit the like button. Let me know if you like the videos or if you hate the videos. But uh, anyways... I wanted to let everyone know that uh, I really enjoy helping people out. I, I truly do. I love trying to help people save money. I love to try to teach people how to do things. Now, the tool videos that I'm doing now, I am upgrading my tools. But in the same aspect, I'm buying everything on sale. So, if it's not on sale or a good deal... I'm not really interested in buying it. I know sometimes you're going to end up with stuff that is overpriced and you can't help it. But uh, for majority of the time, save money, but buy good stuff. I know I showed in the video some you know stuff that you can throw away. But just remember, it doesn't matter. If you actually have good tools, you need to keep your good tools. But you still need to have disposable tools. Just remember, you, we all have neighbors. We all have family members. We all have children. And we all make mistakes ourselves. And those mistakes can destroy tools. When you have neighbors and family members that like to borrow stuff, give them your disposable tools. Keep your good tools locked up. That is the golden rule. If you loan them out. Now I know some of you are like. Well, no one's borrowing my tools. Those are mine and that's that's mine. Well. That's fine. 
But what are you gonna do when your kids need you, need your tools? Are you gonna tell them no, buy their own tools? Exactly. So, anyways, I'm trying to teach my kids a good lesson. So, I want to be able to prepare them for later on. So that's what I'm actually doing. We're buying tools weekly, and I will be making these videos every I don't know, a couple weeks, maybe a month. But uh, so I want you to look out for the next video coming. And make sure you watch the rest of my videos. Look them up. And also, if you like video games and such, check out my other YouTube channel, which is called uh, Starkey Family Gaming and Fun. You might enjoy that. But uh, anyways, I'm going to call it a night. It's pretty late in the morning. But that's how I have to do my videos sometimes. <laughs> you all have a great night. Watch my videos. And you will see me in the next video. Y'all take care. Thank you.